From the Iranga mountain and surrounds, famous deposits for these high luster shell tourmaline crystals. Actually, very interesting. If you shine a strong jeweler's light through the edges of these crystals, you'll, you'll actually see multicolors. So technically speaking, we, we could even be talking in terms of albite tourmaline. So let's start on the base. This base is uh, uh, contacted, so this would have broken off a bigger crystal perhaps. Self-healing having taken place on these edges. Across here, self-healing there as well. Uh, lovely striations running. Quartz striations would be lengthwise that way, and these are running uh, down. So the, the so-called Lemurian writings. Then, of course, lovely Ben Star here. You can see the little Mercedes Ben Star. Hellishly difficult to photograph. Little bit of contact on that edge, unfortunately. Furthermore, good size, um, uh, quite a chunky piece. Uh, must be about, let's see, this must be about just under two inches across and maybe two inches that way. Uh, Height-wise, maybe also about two inches. All the way from the Iranga and surrounds Namibia, shell tourmaline. Now, esoterically, these are regarded as good protectors against the likes of radiation and negativity. So, so the, the anti badliness stone, actually. All the way from Namibia, and what what comes to mind here, and you'll notice with my still pictures, it's very difficult to photograph this material because it's so immensely bling bling, although it's pitch black. Look at those interesting formations on the side as well. Wow, let's just turn it once more. It'll actually stand on its own like this, going around like that. Then, of course, looking from the top down, there you have the bends. For the bends lovers out there, uh, bends in nature.